And maybe, and maybe most important of all, it was our administration that appointed three of the justices that sent Roe versus Wade to the ash heap of history where it belongs. We gave America a new beginning for life. You know, when Donald Trump ran for president in 2016, he promised to govern as a conservative. Together, we did just that. But today, he makes no such promise. After leading the most pro-life administration in American history, Donald Trump and others in this race are retreating from the cause of the unborn. The sanctity of life has been our party's calling for a half a century, long before Donald Trump was a part of it. But now he treats it as an inconvenience, even blaming our election losses in 2022 on overturning Roe v. Wade. As your president, I will always stand for the sanctity of life, and I will not rest, and I will not relent until we restore the sanctity of life to the center of American law in every state in the land. <laughs> 